Hi, welcome to the Makerspace. My name is Dr. Rebecca Kreider, and I'll give you a tour of what we have. So this is the main room. We call this the thinker space. It's a round design to increase collaboration. The rooms are all connected. In the maker culture, it's not separate. We don't do the research in one room and the making in another room. It's pretty fluid. The kids move in between the digital design lab, the recording studio, the maker space, and the thinker space. This is our podcasting and VR room. So we have a virtual reality machine set up here. The kids use that for their emerging technology project and they can come in after school or during lunch to use that. They also use augmented reality. They use metaverse to do different presentations of what they learned. This here is what we're gonna put out on the sensory wall. The kids made a gear train. So when folks walk by in the hall, they can turn the gears and get some tactile motion. Uh, so when the driver gear is spinning, or the driven gear is spinning, but there's a different amount of power and torque, which uh, shows that if this spins once, this will spin twice. And if one spins clockwise, the other one will spin counterclockwise. These carts are made by Teacher Geek. They have gears and pulleys and nuts, bolts, tubing, etc. Comes with a lot of different documents to help us out with it. So they use that Teacher Geek maker cart a lot. So we print with filament, it comes through the extruder, we're printing down on the build plate. Right, so this is what we're going to do today. You guys are opening up Tinkercad, you're finishing up your file, we're going to slice it and send it to the printers. The kids are now printing assistive devices for folks that need help with either buttoning or zipping or opening cans. It allows older citizens to be able to get small tasks done, such as just putting a button through a hole, so it's just really small, but it'll, it'll definitely help them out a lot. Like a heart shape, but it has like a little edge at the top, so when you're pulling the button back, it kind of gets caught in one area, so it's easier to move around. So I just need to try and get the right sizes down to help them the best. So a while ago I 3D printed a phone stand and right now I'm 3D printing another one for my friend. It's meant to hold basically like an iPhone, like a normal iPhone, 